By this time next year, the Port Authority of Guam is looking at the completion of its modernization efforts down in Petey. Come Friday, however, a special meeting is planned set to discuss the status of the Port Service Life Extension Loan, a $10 million loan with the Bank of Guam to be exact, to be used to make improvements to the port's F5 wharf and other critically needed projects. Primarily, the, the key remaining issue that is needed is the approval of the PUC to address the interim rate of 5.6%. Uh, so that we can fund uh, repayment back on the loan. Port General Manager Joanne Brown says she hoped the matter would have been addressed sometime last year, but has yet to happen. I understand. I mean, in order to be able to execute and finalize this loan, we have to ensure that the funding source is there to pay it, and certainly the approval of the PUC is very critical to that process. It was in June last year when legislation was signed into law paving the language for the loan with the Bank of Guam. Of the $10 million loan, $6.5 million will go directly for the service life extension, with $2.5 million for financial management system, and $1 million for cargo handling equipment. Brown adds the port is on track of where it needs to be in regards to its obligations and it's best to finally move this project forward. But why is this project so important? Brown says it's because 90% of all commodities that come into Guam go through the port. And it's critical that we be able to address uh, the maintenance of this facility to ensure that we can continue to be the point of entry for, for all these goods coming into the island. And so much of what we do is dependent on the operations here. Uh, more the reason these improvements are needed and our public should have some sense of comfort uh, that these projects are moving forward. Along with the Service Life Extension Loan update, the Guam Federation of Teachers Union contract is also up for discussion. The special board meeting is set for Friday at 11 o'clock in the morning. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza.